Hey guys, for all you Lord of the Rings collectors out there, today I'm going to be opening up the, um, I think it's like mini bust sweater, um, Balrog figurine. So let's get into it. Use my oversized knife. Yes. Let's get into the box here. Always comes in handy an oversized knife. Brilliant. Look at that. Alrighty. Now all the wetter and Lord of the Rings stuff has really gained a following for those of you I'm sure everyone knows. Um, it's really gained a following um, and a lot of it can be worth a lot. So I've gone out and bought this Balrog mini figurine because historically the Balrog's always a popular, popular figure. And let's see what we got here. Alrighty, it's meant to be pretty big. Having missed all the other Balrogs, which disappointed me back in the day when all the collections came out. See, so yeah, a really well boxed by um, Monkey, whatever this place is called, where I got it from. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's take it out. If I can get it out. Uh, packaging. Packaging. Sausages of packaging. Difficult to get out with one hand. So, oh wow. Cool art on the box there. Let's get it out. Wow. And there you have it for those of people wanting to collect. Though you can't see it with the shining. So we got the mini. Mini Epics Balrog. Let's pick it up. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome, pretty well painted. And the box art is pretty good. Mini Epics from from Weta. There's a little sample of some of the other ones. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's open this up. We've seen the box art. And it's pretty cool. So we open it up here and it's got it's got like a flap comes open continuing the, the sort of orange Lord of the Rings uh, theme. We've got a little booklet here which shows you all the other collections and some of the ones that are coming out soon which is pretty cool little info booklet gives it a nice little touch. Um, my box is slightly dented in there so I can just fix that back but uh, let's get into the box lift out and um, lift out the figure. <laughs> Okay, I've lifted out the figure, which is in this two-part plastic. Let's lay it down. Comes out pretty easy. Wow. And look at that. The colors are really nice and vivid. Um, it's obviously a characterized Balrog. But for people who collect the Lord of the Rings stuff and the Weta stuff, um, I must say, you can smell the vinyl in it, but I must say that's a, that's a nice piece. And there it is. There's that Balrog face, thick arms. There's funny little mini, mini wings there that he's been given, because obviously he's characterized. But the, the flames and the details are really good. Um, I picked this up for about a hundred and something. I think it was like 130 or something Australian dollars. Um, which is pretty expensive. The paint job, especially on the main here, is pretty good. Really good. Um, the paint job on the actual 
flames um, could be better. And then the face is the face is pretty good. And of course the eyes. So all in all a good piece. It's a nice piece. Here's a close up for you guys. The face is really cool. Obviously it's important that they got the face right. The mane is like the mane. The flaming mane is the same the the, the, the main sort of I guess feature. And uh, all in all, just a, a really cool piece. Is it worth a hundred and something dollars? Well, I don't know, that remains to be seen. Um, as I said before, these Lord of the Rings things are really popular. I bought it as a Lord of the Rings fan, um, and I bought it as a bit of a collector. Um, and let's see if it continues the trend of Weta collectibles, but obviously there's probably way, way more of these made than any of the other Weta uh, sculptures and stuff. But I think um, a nice little set, a nice little collection set. This is the sort of pinnacle of the collection at the moment, being like a hundred and something dollars. But as you guys can see, um, if you look in the little booklet here, you can get like Frodo and Gollum. Uh, and, you know, you can get a load of the other ones and they're only like... They're only like, you know, 40, 30, 40 bucks or so. So if you've got them um, and you sort of need the pinnacle of the collection so far, then I think it's just pretty impressive. It's a pretty cool, um, it's a pretty cool uh, little where to, where to epic. Um, doesn't rival any of the other Balrog where to items, but, but for, for, um, for what it is, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And let's see, it will remain to be seen how many, how much it becomes worth, if anything, how many they've made. I presume quite a lot because it's just vinyl. Um, but there we go. Shall it pass the test of time? Who knows? Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, mainly I do martial arts videos and stuff, uh, totally different to this, but every now and then I do little, little, uh, videos of, of interest on little other topics that I like. Cool. Have a good one. Oh, and a shout out to all the people on the Lord of the Rings, uh, collectors fan page on Facebook. It's a really good page, really good community. So if you like Lord of the Rings, head over there. Um, there's a really good bunch of people there for Lord of the Rings fans. Awesome. See you guys.